Last season, we didn't get the top off finish that the board wanted. And now, players are unhappy. But we will jump strip as we've applied for the Eintracht Frankfurt and the Stuttgart job in the Bundesliga. So it's going to be a busy summer for the season. Well, it's the 19th of June, so you might have realised something already. We've also got a must response, so it's another thing you might have realised. Or might guess. We've got a job offer, and I'm going to take it. But if we look at the transfers for the part towards the end of the season, I never showed you what happened in halfway through the season. We just loaned out players. Um, and no one joined for last season, but if we go to the ongoing transfers, we've got a player in here for Stino and Joe joining us, or oh, well, joining our team when they leave, when we leave, because I'm accepting this offer. Uh, but he'll be joining us from Empoli as our backup AMC and right winger for the season. Because we had to change the tactic for this season, so he'll be playing as AMC. But yeah, I. Uh, he might be out of a job already because if the new manager for South don't play an AMC, he might be screwed. Um, but yeah, we've also got some other dealings to happen. Uh, apparently we've got enough of for staff help from Sefri now, but I'm going to leave that for the next manager. But we've also accepted a deal for Alwyn Sanchez to leave. Um, he is unhappy because he wants his initial grade playing time. And I thought we may as well sell him while we can. Uh, we've got a good offer in. He's also on a hell of a lot of wages. When Spain has a wage restriction and £63,000 is what, half of 100000 or more than half of 100000 we only get about six £700,000 to, pan, to spend. So, yeah, he's, he's just gone. Uh, if we can, at least half. If the director for one side accepts it, he'll go. Um, but also another player who will be leaving um, probably guaranteed because his release clause has been met by Newcastle United. So his release clause is 18 million and Newcastle United paid that 18 million for him and we signed for 3 million pounds in the third season. He did really well. He's passed two seasons against 6.93 which ain't that bad for a goalkeeper. Um, but yeah, He's definitely going to Newcastle, and so we need a new goalkeeper. But I've decided not to go for a goalkeeper to let the new manager decide because we are headed in the Eintracht Frankfurt team, who last season finished 11th. They sacked the manager, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Roger Smith was sacked because of probably not being in the top half, and yeah. Uh, they've had three managers over the course of the career. Um, Breton, Varta and Temp Miller, all, all three of them have been sacked. But Andrek Frankfurt aren't that bad. They're better in terms of reputation. I think they're better in terms of a club, uh, in terms of players. And the eighth best team in the league of the Bundesliga, so mid-table. But if we can get higher than that, that'd be brilliant. Yeah, I am going to go to Eintracht Frankfurt. And here we are as Ronchi or Donato Ronchi, our, our manager, has been hired by Eintracht Frankfurt. So if we go to direct football, the best that, if we go to direct football straight off, Hardung is that direct football. He's not that bad, but he could be better. And the goalkeeper is Stefan Buck, who is not good, I would say, for the level we require to be at. Eintracht Frankfurt, of course, won one Bundesliga in 1959. They've won two Europa League, such as one in 2022. They've won five DFB Pockles, last one in 2018. They won a Bundesliga Zwei in 1998. And they've also won a Verban Spockel Hessen uh, in 1946. That is a trophy that I don't think is around anymore. But they play at the Deutsche Bank Arena, 58,000 capacity, built. 1925. I'm pretty sure it's also was rebuilt for the German World Cup in 2006. At least I want to say that because I've seen pictures of it. It looks new, and it doesn't look like it was built in 1925. So I assume it was built for the World Cup or something like that, or maybe even Euros. This that have just happened 
this year in real life. But the status is rich. We've got £40 million to spend in the transfer budget and we've got £1.7 million in the wage budget. Uh, apparently we've already got a player coming in of Woodsilk Thomas. I don't think he's going to be good enough, but yeah. Also got some people who have been loaned out but coming in for the new season. Our best player is apparently this guy, Abel Ruiz, who is our striker. He looks very, very decent. And yeah, uh, the expectations this season is to qualify for the Europa Conference League, which I think, hopefully, we can do. And the ball, the support has been only fancy top off finish. So that's not that bad. Apparently, people have left us. Paco Di Miguel has left us as our fitness coach. Uh, Oscar Garcia has also left us, who was our other fitness coach. So maybe they can join us for this season. But yeah, we've joined Eintracht Frankfurt. Apparently we've got Fijo who is leaving to Borussia Mönchengladbach. Is he any good? Yes, he is. That's unfortunate. Yeah, if we go around the squad, go by some best players. We've got three players who are above a four star, who are four star higher. So we've got already seen Al Belveriz. Uh, our other is Alias Shkiri. Or Shkiri? Shkiri, I think it is, isn't it? Um, DM midfielder at the back. Hugo Larson, another player. DM midfielder, 22 years old. And um, yeah, he's our best player by a mile. And I think Abel Ruiz got the best player on that picture because that screen because of him scoring 14 goals, getting six assists and over seven in the past season. Other big players is Nathaniel ba Brown, who's left winger. We've got Romero, who's a centre back. Baku, who is right back. Koch, who's a centre back. Brian Gill, who's another attacking player. Also, is Hugo Ekatiki. Um, Soppy, another right winger, right back, as, right back, left back as well. Um, we've also got some youngsters in David Martinez, who's three star. Cordability. Four star potentiality. We've also got Stanis Idumbo and Mzambo, who is two and a half star current ability, three and a half star potentiality. Improvement I can see immediately is the goalkeepers. We've only got two goalkeepers. One of them is 36 year old Kevin Trapp, who's our main choice goalkeeper. I don't think he's good enough for this level, so we'll obviously be trying to get a main choice goalkeeper for next season, whoever that will be, I do not know. Last season they sold £88 million and because of that they've got £115 million in the bank and we can spend £40 billion of it. We've also got about £400,000 spent in the wage budget, that's not that bad at all. But yeah, I've got to figure out the tactic. We've also got some players who are wanting to leave, such as Abel Vries, who wants to leave for Champions League football. Same with Nicholas Romero and Zeno de Bast wants to start more games. So we've already got some unhappy players. The manager of support is also always already awful. It's poor already. That's really poor that's well poor. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have to figure it out. And uh, yes get to the end of the, of the transfer window. Hopefully they spent at least I'd say 30 million of this, 40 million. If we could spend all of it, that would be brilliant, but I'll maybe leave a bit on the side and for an emergency in January if the direct football decides to sign anyone then, but yeah. Hopefully, transfers are plenty and improvement of our fortunes from when we were at South of Ego where we seem to just be a lower half table all the time. So this is the tactic we're going to be going with and I'm trying out a different style and trying out the Gagan press. Now I I know how everyone says the Gagan press is the best tactical style in the game. Every time I've used it I always lose and get myself sacked. At least in my personal saves I just can never get it to work. So I've decided to try it a bit differently actually having a pressing forward on support this time with an advanced forward on attack. So straight off we've got two strikers. We've got two wingers, one is a winger on attack and the other is an advanced for inside forward on attack. Then we've got two Segundo Valantes on attack, so it's a very attacking formation. Then we've got two wing backs on spot, two ball playing defenders on defender and a sweeper keeper on attack. So a very, very attack heavy mindset. 
and also we're on positive so it's even grown into the fact that we're playing even better and more positive than we probably should be. Hopefully it'll do a decent job. But if we go to the transfers, coming into the new season, um, Silco Thomas joined us, he was guaranteed to join us when we joined. Uh, this was the last manager of the last third football, whatever. Uh, he is awful. He'll never play for us, probably, and hopefully he'll be sold within a year. Then we sold Francisco Jose, who you might remember is our player from Salta. £3 million. Pound. He played 30 games last season. I'm expecting him to want about £12 million for him, and getting him for three, I think that's brilliant. His potential is not as good, but that's because Salta are a worse team. So, yeah. Uh, but two and a half star accountability is going to be brilliant for us. He is injured again. I do think he has a problem with injury problems. Uh, yeah, he's injured before, and that's the only problem. Uh, but if we go to Salta, the guy who's replaced us is Luis Miguel Carrion, who was last manager of Real Oviedo. Now, we tried to get more than just one player in from um, Salta Vigo. First off, we're trying to get. Eduardo Narvaez as our main choice goalkeeper but he instantly rejected us so yeah he wasn't joining and now he's worth 28 million apparently so that's not good could have got him for about 10 or less than 10 or something like that so that was a, quite a good deal we could have got for him and Virgilio another player that we tried to go in for uh, he also rejected us in the end deciding to get another contract with Salta so we tried to get three players in from Celta and only one joined and it was the guy who was playing regularly for us quite often so obviously he joined us because he has a, must have a good working relationship with us um, but yeah he joined us for three minutes then we signed Stefano Tratti because we couldn't get Norveas as our goalkeeper he's a three and a half star goalkeeper who has come in from Sassuolo 27 and a half million is a lot of money and most of our budget has gone on him I think he'll be a good player, so yeah, I've signed him for that reason. Jovan Sakovic is another player that's joined us. I paid a bit of price, I would think, £14 million pound for him, um, but he did do well last season. And so far, he's played three games for us and scored one goal and got one assist on one player of the match. He's not, he's, so he's not done too badly, but he comes in as a squad player, a striker. And Anders Bursa has joined us as our left back. I'm not going to lock, in get, lock him in, but hopefully he can get really good. He just has a backup, basically. Uh, comes in from Wolfsburg. Then General Belossian, who I've decided to splash the cash on. I think he's better than the three-star current ability says. And if he can get to that four-star potential ability, all the more better at 22 years old. He comes in for £40 million from Bayer Leverkusen. And then you might be wondering... Didn't we only have £40 million to spend? I ended up spending, what, £20 million on a goalkeeper and then £40 million on him? That is because £20 million is on add-ons. So yeah, we spent £20 million all up front and £20 million over the course of three seasons, which I don't think that is that bad at all. And he's not done too badly from the start. Then we also signed Wilfred Singo as our main choice right back and a backup at Sederbach. Reason because of that, I'll tell you in a bit. Comes in from Stuttgart, only played 18 games last season, and not many of them are starts, but I think he's better than expected to be. £25 million pound, uh, over the course of a few years as well, uh, I'd add, and it can rise all the way up to 34, 000, 34 million. Then we also signed Charlie Crew, who I think is going to become a really good player with that potential ability, and yeah, he comes in from Leeds. For £10.25 million. Pound. I think we've overpaid for him, but four and a half star current ability. I'm locking him in. Hopefully, he can get to three star by the end of the season. That'll be brilliant. And this was direct football, Julian Duranville, who I know can turn out to be one of the best players in the game. And yeah, uh, he comes in from Borussia Dortmund. He played a bit last season, mostly off the bench. But he's most playing in the B side uh, for Dortmund. But comes in from 
to us as a squad player i'm not going to lock him in or anything but hopefully he gets good game time the problem is we're having to pay 95 thousand pound a week for him but then he was on 95 thousand pound a week at Dortmund, so yeah he's not going to get away to cut to join a worse team like Eintracht Frankfurt even if he will, he's guaranteed more game time but then the sales so the first off Luis Kobe left he was just a B team player Igor Matinovic was sold to her to BSC or her to Berlin um, for 1.9 million I know it's, it wasn't going to be my first team plan so I sold him to her and that was just that's it that's that Abraham Dalmaro was sold um, to Hamburg for £750,000. I didn't think he was going to get game time for us either. So we just sold him. Now Zeno de Bass came to me saying he wanted him all game time. I said, okay, I'll sell you. And then buy Leverkusen and pay £21.5 million for him. I actually think it was like £12 million or £14 million up front. And then 6 odd or something like that. If he played one game, when he's played that one game, it's either that or it's £21 million over the course of a few years. Yeah, it's £21 million over the course of a few years. But yeah, that is a good deal for him. And then Nicolas Romero was sold. I did not want to sell him. But he had a minimum fee release clause for the Champions League or something like that of £28 million. So Tottenham paid that £20 million all up front and so he's gone for them. Another player whose release clause was met was Brandon Soppe, uh, who's gone to Leipzig for £27 million. The rest are just loanees that were loaned out. Uh, we also sold this guy, Sebastian de Blasi, who had hardly any current ability. He was like in the greys. So Elvesburg came in for him. I just said, you know what, I'll let him go. And also Dario Aswogo. Uh, was sold on the final day of the season, or the deadline day at least, um, to buy Leverkusen. Also, a release clause met. And to be honest, I'm happy for him to go because I, I didn't see a place for him in the side. But yeah, we've been a very busy team in the transfer window 129 million coming in, 105 million going out, and three of those sales on the 105, which were. I think about 60 or 70 million altogether were against our will because of minimum fee release clauses. Yeah, we've started off brilliantly. We have started off brilliantly. Um, we'll be unpacking in the first round of the DFB Pokal. Then we beat Bochum, lost with Stuttgart, beat with Augsburg, and a win against Hoffenheim. Overall, we're now fourth with nine points, three wins, one loss, six goal difference. If it weren't for that loss to Stuttgart, we would have been, well, we would have been first. So, yeah. So, this tactic can honestly score a lot of goals. And, yeah, I am looking forward to this season. So, let's skip ahead to December and see where we are at the halfway point of the season. And, yeah, it went kind of awfully halfway through the half point of the first half <laughs> whatever the quarter point i should say of the season where we lost four on the trot to wolfsburg leipzig Borussia Mönchengladbach, and freiburg but then we've now got an undefeated and currently sit third in the league the only teams better than us are stuttgart and bayern stuttgart who to be honest we were not offered an interview we could have been i think we were, we were going to be or we weren't offered one at the end um, but they had got back to us or something like that uh, or they offered us the interview when we took the Eintracht Frankfurt job so yeah uh, Stuttgart whose manager is Matthias Jasli 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 I don't know I don't know how to pronounce his name but yeah, he was last manager of El Ali and Cole but yeah not that bad start of the season we're also in the quarter final of the DFB Park always what they wanted as a minimum requirement and we are facing Stuttgart so yeah hopefully we can either get well in the ideal world we'll get third place Champions League football and we'll win the DFB Park whether that happens I don't know well one of them has happened in the end we finished third not bad in the end, we're only one point off second Leipzig, so yeah, 
and if we hadn't lost to Borussia Mönchengladbach in the final game of the season, we would have got second. So yeah, um, not bad at the start of the season. So in terms of goals, Can Uzma, who uh, Uzun or Uzun, who I didn't say I locked in for the team for this season alongside a couple of more, a couple of the players. I forgot who they were now. I should have said earlier. But he is our main choice striker, and he scored 23 goals in the league and got top goal score. He also got the most player of the match awards, all equal with Jonas Erving of Hoffenheim, who was a goalkeeper. And he got the most free kick goals with four as well. In terms of the team overall, we got the second most goals with 84 goals, only two behind Bayern. Uh, nowhere near low scores against uh, or most possession or most dribbles made. We had only 40 goals conceded, which were 8th best. Most clean sheets were 6th best with 13. And we're nowhere near most tackles won or best pass completion. We're second in most shots four with 425, but still nowhere near first place Bayern. And we're third in most points per season, points per season, which were a bit expected because we were finished third. And if we go to DFB Pockhole, we won it <laughs> against Leipzig in extra time. Brian Gill got a goal, Abel Ruiz got a goal, Hugo Larson got a goal, and then the 121st minute, Nacho Ferry scored, uh, who only played six games all season in the league and scored two goals. So he has not done too badly one bit. And I actually think we're going to be selling him. <laughs> he wins the trophy and immediately gets sold. Uh, or when it wins the winning goal against to win yourself a trophy and then it immediately gets sold um, but yeah uh, a, a tight game overall we had the most shots and more on target but worse xg and less clear cut chances less possession more corners less fouls so in the end I think Leipzig deserved it but we did just scored more we were more clinical and because of that I Eintracht Frankfurt win the DFB Pockle their sixth trophy in that competition but yeah if we go to the players most appeared players was Uzun who was locked in Trati got 38 games Balesian got 37 games with one off the bench last played 36 with two off the bench Charlie Crew played 36 he's not progressed as much as I thought he would oh, that's not the best um, Brian Gill got few games, Koch got a few games, Abel Rees got a few games, uh, most goals in the end Uzen got 25, uh, Ekatike got 13, Brian Gill got 9, Abel Rees got 9, Charlie Crew got 7, uh, Larson got 7 and it was if Kovac was unhappy, uh, we over him not playing enough, he scored 4 in 7 games. Uh, we've loaned him out to Blackburn in the transfer window of January. Um, but yeah, he did well um, off on loan. Martinez got four. And then assists. Brangill got 11. Hugo Larson got 10. Ruiz got eight. Martinez got seven. Charlie Crew Uzen got six. And Nathaniel Brown got 10. I mean, five. Uh, Trotty got 13 clean sheets. Kevin Trotty played two games and got one assist. One clean sheet, I don't know, I'm getting it all mixed up, but yeah. And then in terms of our drain, a load of our players were over a 7. Nacho Ferry got 7.46 after only 7 games off the bench, but he scored 3 goals in these games and got 1 assist, so he did really well, but I am looking to probably sell him. Uzen got 2nd most average rings and probably the best in terms of, well, literally the best in terms of the team, given how many games he played. Larson did well. Borset did well when he did play. And he just got played three times. Two off the bench as well. And he's gone down in credibility and potentiality. So maybe a bit of a flop of a signing there. Maybe should have locked him in. I'm not sure. Nathaniel Brown didn't do too badly. Like I said, Trapp didn't do too badly. Abel Rees didn't do too badly. Nor did Brick Gale. Trassi did good as a goalkeeper as well. So two goalkeepers that played did really really well Ekatike did well um, and so did Singo when he did play 
uh, as our right back or centre back, wherever you play, I don't know. So yeah, very good season. I think this is what we've been given. We've got been given just under thirty million pounds to spend the transfer budget, and about a hundred thousand pound or less than a hundred thousand pound, I should say, about fifty thousand pound in the wage budget. So maybe some changes needed there. Uh, maybe put some in the wage budget and less in the transfer budget. I don't know. Yeah, I think that is the end of this episode. Next season, we're in the Champions League. And we've also won the, a trophy. Uh, what is our rating now? Uh, we've gone from a three-star reputation to four-star. Just by winning the DFB Pockel and getting Champions League football with our track fan for it. So you never know, a bigger club might be coming in for us. I highly doubt it. Both the day will probably take it. But yeah, I've been Matthew. But yeah, I've been Matthew or Sinister Max. If you have enjoyed this video, like the video and subscribe to the channel as well for more FM24 content going into FM25 as well. Um, starting off with either Dark County Ladies or Dark County Men, depending if Dark County Ladies is in the base game of FM25. So if any of that excites you, subscribe to the channel, like the video and hit the bell for push notifications so you never miss an upload. And I've been Matthew, also in Summer Hex. I'll see you all next time. Hex, signing out. Bye everybody.